Today, I'm going to teach you how to create this awesome realistic denim texture inside of Photoshop. So let's get started. So before we get started, inside of this larger texture, we are going to make a small pattern. These lines right here. So we are going to go ahead and get started with that. We'll go to File, New. And the dimensions for this are 250 pixels wide by 250 pixels high. If this is for digital use only, we are going to keep it at 72. Otherwise, you can take the resolution up to 300 for print. Click Create. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. We are going to choose the Shape tool, the Rectangle tool. We want the fill to be black for this one and remove the stroke. We are going to make a square here. And I'm going to make the dimensions 30 pixels wide by 30 pixels high. X axis 0 and Y axis 0. Make sure that fits right up against that corner. I'm going to hold the Option key on my keyboard or Alt key on the PC and you'll see these two double arrows. When you see that, just drag this down. And then we're going to do that again to create a third one. And now we'll just grab this first one, hold the Shift key, grab the last one, press the Option or Alt key again and then drag these down. And then do it one more time. We are actually going to get rid of this last one right here because we don't need it. And then we are going to get all of these together. Grab the top one, hold shift key, grab the bottom one and then we are just going to drag it out until that bottom one actually is flush against the bottom of the canvas. Click enter. And then hold shift command and letter E or shift control and letter E just to make it all one. And then you'll come up to edit, define pattern, and this is going to be our denim pattern. Click OK. So we are done with this. We don't need it anymore. We are going to come in and make the larger texture. So we're going to come up to file, new. And this one is going to be pretty big. We are going to make it 3000 pixels wide by 3000 pixels high. The resolution will leave at 72. Click create. Now with a new canvas, we are going to fill it with a blue color. So something like 185E9F. Click OK. Press the letter X to make sure that it's on the background. Command plus delete to fill it or press Ctrl plus backspace on the PC. Now we're going to come up to filter, noise, add noise and we'll add just a little bit of noise here, about 15%. You know about 15 pixels is fine. Distribution uniform. Check off monochromatic. Click OK. Now we are going to fill another layer with a gray color. So set foreground color with 88898A that lies somewhere in between. Click OK. Press X on the keyboard to bring the color in the background. Add another layer. Command plus delete to fill the layer. We are going to add more noise to this layer. So come up to filter. Noise. Add noise. The amount for this one is going to be 200%. Distribution uniform. Check off monochromatic. Click OK. Now we are going to duplicate this layer. So we can just right click. Select duplicate. And name this layer denim. 
click OK. And then this one we can call it denim 2. Okay, so we have got these two layers. With denim 2 layer selected, go to filter, blur, motion blur. Our angle is going to be 0, distance 28 pixels. Click OK. Then we are going to change that to soft light. We are going to come up to denim layer. Do the same thing. Filter, blur, motion blur. Except that on this one, our angle is going to be 90 degrees. Distance stays the same. Click OK. And we are going to change this one to soft light. And you should have something that looks like similar to what I have on the screen. Next, we are going to add a pattern adjustment layer. So if you come to this little circle down here, we are going to choose pattern. Select the pattern that we have created and saved. We are going to scale this bay down. Bring it down to about 8%. Click OK. And with this pattern fill layer selected, I'm going to right click and convert this to a smart object. And double click anywhere in this area to bring up the blending options for the layer. Check off drop shadow. Our drop shadow is going to be black. Our blending mode is multiply. Opacity is 50%. Angle 120 degrees, distance 9 pixels, spread 7%, size 2 pixels. And then we're going to come up to bevel and emboss. Our style is embossed and technique is smooth. Depth is 750%, direction is up, size is 8 pixels. Angle 90 degrees, under highlight mode, opacity 40%, shadow mode, opacity 30%. Click OK. Okay, with this layer selected, we're going to go ahead and add a fade effect. We're going to keep this gray background 888988A. And for the foreground, BF, BF, BF. Click OK. Now we're going to go to Filter, Render, Clouds. And we're going to change the mode to Soft Light. You should end up with something like this. That's the fade of the jeans. And then you can come in and add another hue and saturation layer to the top of that. You can adjust the color as you wish and we get deeper blue. If you want to adjust the color of the jeans, you can add that hue and saturation layer to the top. And this is your jeans layer. And that's our denim fabric.